an assembly language program to convert a decimal to hexadecimal number all you need to do is you should know this equation hexa equivalent will be equal to the ms digit into 0 a plus the ls digit let me explain this with an example let me consider a decimal number okay eight bit decimal number so i will consider the hexa uh, decimal number to be 45 and the equivalent of this in hexadecimal is 2dh now you might be wondering how i got this i can directly compute this using calci or let me show you using that online tool that i had used okay so my input my input is 45 right which is a decimal number i need to find out its hexadecimal equivalent so i have used a base converter here 45 is my number in decimal i need to convert it into hexa so 45 equivalent is 2d that is the result that is obtained okay so any number you can use your calces and check any number you can consider so this is the number that i am supposed to get 45 equivalent in hexa will be 2d so the logic is very simple you if you observe this number decimal number you have two digits right upper digit and lower digit so this upper digit i'm considering this as ms digit most significant digit and this lower digit i'm considering as ls digit or the least significant digit then all i need to do is i need to consider the ms digit multiplied into 0a plus the ls digit to obtain the result so the hex equivalent will be zero four into zero a plus zero five that will be equal to two d in hexa. Now again, let me get back to you to the calculator and show you the result multiplied with zero a. The result of multiplication will be twenty eight. okay plus i need to add 5 so 28 plus 5 in hexa will give me 2d similarly you can take any number and do okay but in my example i have considered 45 just to show you the steps fine now here you can see we are performing the multiplication operation so we will be using the line of code or the op code multiply a b and the result of multiplication will always be stored in the accumulator okay now when you are considering the ms digit and the ls digit we have to use the masking and we have to also perform the swapping operation if you want to separately consider the lower nibble and the upper nibble yes so what we are going to do is since we want separately the lower digit and the ms digit first we will consider the number 45 and we will basically want only the ms digit which should be 04 so if this ms digit has to be obtained what we are going to do is we are going to swap this first okay so we will swap this number so when you swap it it will become 54 then we will mask this with 0f and obtain 04 so this would be the step 2 that is we are going to perform the swapping 
and then in the step 3 we are going to perform the masking. So with swapping and masking you have obtained the MS digit that is 0, 4. Next step is you need to multiply this with 0, 8. So you are going to multiply this result zero four with zero a and the result of this multiplication will be stored in the accumulator and I think the result was somewhere around 28 when we saw it using the calci so this 28 will be stored in the accumulator the next step that we need to do is we need to consider the number again so step 5 is we are considering the number 45 again. Now we want only the lower digit or the LS digit. So we are going to just directly mask this and on masking with 0F you obtain 05 and this will be stored in the accumulator. Finally, what we are going to do is the result of multiplication operation, whatever was there, that has to be added with the result that is present in the accumulator. So for this, what we will do is we will store this 28 which was earlier present in the accumulator in some temporary register. say R1 so that now we can add the content of accumulator plus the content that is present in the register R1. So this will finish 28 plus 0 5 will give you 2 D in hexa. Very simple all you need to remember is the formula as to how to convert to hexa equivalent. So here you can see for the program I have considered a different content and the locations for storing the inputs are 30 H and a temporary register R1 and a final result to be stored in the memory location 31H. So my input is stored in the location 30H and the content that I have considered or the input that I have considered is 58. Initially I am going to move it to the accumulator. I am going to perform the swap operation so that the nibbles are interchanged. So 58 will become 85. This will be masked to obtain only the lower nibble basically I want only the MS digit so this operation will give you only the MS digit so MS digit is 0, 05 right so I want 0, 05 so that is why I am masking it with 0, F so the result of this will be 0, 05 then I need to multiply it with 0, A so that will complete the step MS digit multiplied with 0a so that part of the equation is complete the result of this will be 32 that will be actually in the accumulator but I need to store in the temporary register R1 so that part of the calculation is over now next I need to have only the LS digit right so I am taking the complete number again from the input 30 from the location 30H. I will have it in the accumulator. I will perform the masking and on masking I will obtain only the LS digit that is 08. And now I am going to add whatever was there in the temporary register R1 that is the product of MS digit multiplied with 0A which was 32 and this will be added to 
so that will give you the result 32 32 added to 0 8 which will be equal to 3 a now this is the final result of my operation that is the decimal number converted to hex number and this has to be stored in the memory location 31 h so output is stored in 31 h so coming to the code because I have explained the logic this should be very simpler corresponds to the starting address and the starting of the program input is in 30h and in this case our number was 58 that has to be moved to the accumulator when you swap the content in, uh, in the accumulator this will become 85 then you need to perform masking so when you mask this with 0f this will become 05 so you have just obtained the highest or uh, the upper nibble and now what you are going to do is you are going to perform the multiplication with 0a right so this will be the ms digit and this has to be multiplied with 0a so b register has to be moved with 0a so on multiplication 0 5 with 0a the result will be stored in the accumulator so if you want to check previously in the code the result was 32 so the result of this multiplication was 32 which will be in the accumulator that has to be moved to the temporary register R1 so that will be done by this line of code so now R1 is having the content 32 now again you need to take the number so that is why move a comma 30h because 30h was containing the input 58 now you need to work only on the ls ls digit so that is why you are directly going to mask this with 0f so 58 with 0f will give you 08 and you need to add this with the content that was present in the temporary register that is 32 so when you do that what happens is that this will be added with the content present in the temporary register so you are going to add 08 plus 32 and the result in the accumulator will now be equal to 3a and this will be present in the accumulator now we our intention is to have the final result in the location 31h so that is why you have the line of code move 31h comma accumulator finally terminate the code so now 31h will be having the result 3 So in the location 30H we need to store our input which I had considered in my program explanation as 58. So initially that will be moved to the accumulator. So 58 is present in the accumulator. Next step the program status word if you observe that is equal to 0 1 because the parity is set because of odd number of ones. Then I need to swap it, 58 changes to 85. I need to perform the ANL operation that is masking so you can see I obtain 0 05 then I am supposed to multiply it with 
zero a. So before that, I need to store my b register with zero a. So b register is having zero a. Now zero a will be multiplied with zero five. Accumulator will have the result that is thirty two. So this has to be moved to a temporary register R one. R one is having thirty two now. Again, the number is considered in the accumulator that is fifty eight. Now A N L operation is performed. That is masking with zero F, which will give you the result as zero eight in the accumulator. Finally, you need to add the content in the accumulator with the content in the register R one. That will give you three A. in the accumulator but we want the result in 31h right so we have to execute this line of code move 31h comma accumulator so you can see 58 decimal equivalent in hexa will be equal to 3a and the other example that i had considered was 45 right so let me show you with that as well the result was 2d for this so when i execute you can check and you can observe that ms digit multiplied with 0a was giving you 28 that was present in the accumulator which will be moved to the temporary register r1 and then again you take the number 45 you are going to mask this and the result is 2d which has to be obtained in 31h location so you can see here 45 converted to 